A promise is a promise. Moderna FC has beaten Sassuolo FC in the Coppa Italia. I said I would make this video if they won. And they did win. They won 3-2 against Sassuolo. The first goal was scored by Diego Falciani in the 11th minute before Nicolo, Nicola Mosti scored in the 30th minute. Domenico Berardi scored in the 47th minute via penalty. And then it was 3-1 through Nicolo Mosti, the same guy that scored in the 30th minute, in the 52nd minute. And then Sassuolo scored again in the 88th through Khan Aihan. But in the end, Modena still won the game. They had 19 shots to Sassuolo's 14, 8 to Sassuolo's 2, 35% of the possession, 272%. 272 passes for Modena, 503 to Sassuolo, 75% pass accuracy, 86 for Sassuolo, 12 fouls for Modena, 9 for Sassuolo, 1 Yoko for Modena, 0 for Sassuolo, no red cards for either, 4 offsides for Modena, 1 for Sassuolo, 6 corners for Modena, 10 for Sassuolo. Yeah, I guess. But if that's the entire video, the video would be quite boring. Only about a minute long. So let's dive into Modena FC 2018. That's literally their name. So let's look at um, the table. If I can literally just find a league fixture. There we go. That's a league fixture. Google's weird. Okay, so going on to the table. Modena. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, so Serie D. They were in Serie D in the 2018-19 season. And in that season, if this thing could load, I could tell you what they did that season. They topped Group D. Same amount of points with Per Goletese. Only a couple points over Regiana, Reg Regi Regiana, and in the championship round, they didn't compete. Okay. Then they were, I guess, promoted to League C. Then. Yeah, the regular season. This was 2021-2022 last season. Modena, only two points over Regiana. Goal fight for the regular season where they topped it over Citadel and Bari, so they are the Serie C champions. Now they are in Serie B with 19 teams, Ascoli, well, 19 other teams Ascoli, Bari, Benevento, Brescia, Cagliari, Chitadella, Calcio Como, Casenza Calcio, Frosinone, Genoa, Palermo, Parma, Perugia, Pisa, Regina, Reg Regina Spal, Citadel, Tirana, and Venezia. But even before that, they were in the Copa Italia Lega Pro. Uh, so, this was after they were in League D. They were in the Copa Italia Lega, Lega Pro, I guess. They were in Group F and completely flopped it against Virtus Verona and Union Arigana. No. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about Modena. Let's look at the players. So... They have Diego Falciani, Nicola Mosti, Davide Diao, Paolo Azzi, Ricardo Gagno, Mario Gagliulio, Simone Panada, Antonio Pergeffi, Giorgio Chitadini, Nicolas Bonfatti, Luca Tremolati, Alessandro Morotti, and Andreas Siculin, Marco Amelino, Thomas Petticella, Matti Minesio, Romeo Giovanni, Sebastian De Mayo, Shadi Okada, Tobasi Silvestri, Luca Magnino, Matteo Chiofani, Francesco Resnetti, Fabio Gerardi, Antonio Narciso, Fabio Ponzi, Eduardo Duca, Fabio Abiusu, Andrea Indonergi, and Matteo Piacentini. I guess Modena. Yeah, look at the news section. No recent news for Modena, okay. 
So recently they beat Fiorina de Zulia 1 0. They beat Castle Vizetro 9 0 and Formignoni 3 0. Well, let's look at Serie C. Match day 38 of 38 was a 4 0 win over Pondera, a 1 1 draw of Gubbio, 2 1 over Emolese, a 1 0 loss to Pistoese, 3 0 over Ancona, 3 0 over Vispasaro, 3 2 over Careze, 1 1 with Siena. 1 0 win over Prescara, 2 1 loss to Olbia, 2 1 against Teramo, 2 0 against Montervecci, 1 against Viterbeze, 1 against Cecina, 1 0 against Cecina, 0 0 with Lucese, 2 0 against Virtus and Della, 0 0 against Reggiana, 2 1 with Grosetto, 2 0 with Fermana, 3 2 over Gubbio, 2 1 over Pontadera, 6 1 over Pistoese, 2 1 over Omoleze, 2 1 with, over Vispasaro, 1 over Ancona. They actually drew. Okay, so 2 1 win over Siena. They actually drew and lost in the Coppa Italia Lega Pro round of 16 to Piacenza 4 4, losing 4 3 on pens. 3 0 over Olbia, 2 0 over Carese, 2 0 over Viterbeze, 2 1 over Pescara. 2 1 loss to Montervecci, and 2 1 win over Lucchesi. 2 1 win over Cassana, 2 1 loss to Virtus and Tella. 4-0 over Femana, a 4-0 win over Omaleze in the Copa Italia Lega Pro second round, a 0-0 draw to Ramo, a 1-1 draw with Reggiana, and a 0-0 draw with Crescetto to kick off the season. They also, before that, beat Vispasaro in the first round of the Copa Italia Lega Pro. Yeah. They will kick start off League B with a fixture against Frosinoni, then Cosenza, Tirana, Cagliari, Brescia, Genoa. Regina and Ascoli and in the second round they're playing against a team to be determined. I do actually want to look at the Coppa Italia So The matches are finished though. What the hell? So they're either playing against Cremonese or Bologna because Cremonese beat Tirana 3-2 and Bologna beat Cosenza 1-0 So either Bologna or Cremonese Oh frick, I'll just check World football. World football. Coppa Italia. Okay. Let's change the season to 2022, 2023. Okay. Modena, uh, oh, it's not even gonna show me the second round. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? It's not gonna show me the second round. Come on. I can't see anything? Really? Okay, but going back, I'm gonna just refresh this, bro. I'm, I will probably have to get back to this a later day, because... I have no clue who Modena is playing now. Uh, all I know is that the match is on October 19th at a to-be-determined date. Wait. Who is Modena playing in the Coppa Italia round two? Um... Copa Italia results, fixtures, tables, and news. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure out who Modena is playing in the next round of the Copa Italia. Um, the second round. Wait, we just was that the second round? I mean, what what would have been what would have been the first round? I hate this freaking thing. Second round. Yes. Let's see. Second round. Second round. Oh. Uh, I don't remember this. Modena. Are playing Cremonese. Modena versus Cremonese. 
I'm going to go out here on a limb. I'm going to make my prediction early for Modena versus Cremonese. I'm going to say Modena win that game. I'm saying that Modena will beat Cremonese on October 19th at a to-be-determined date. And we'll just have to look later to see who uh, Modena will be playing of Lazio, Juventus, Fiorentina, Inter, Roma, Milan, Atalanta, and Napoli. We'll just have to see that later. But I do want to stretch this video longer to my max here because this is the second channel. It's not a verified channel. The max is 15 minutes. So I'm going to try to make it try and make it to go to 15 minutes. So let's click back on to Modena FC 2018. Their last game of the Serie B would be against Sutirol at May 19th, 2023 at 9 a.m. Modena versus Sutirol. Yeah. At May 19th, yeah. I don't really know what there's much to say here. Um, the only reason why I'm making this video is because Modena did it, completed an upset. So, you might see similar videos if the following happen. If the following happen. If FC Punic score 6 without reply against Arena Zvezda and they win. If a Poland beat Maccabi Haifa and if Dudelange overturn Malma. So, if those happen, a similar video will happen, but it won't just be that team, it will be the Armenian League, the Cypriot League, and Luxembourg League. So, yeah. But we're going to click back to Modena. Yes, we are. And uh, let's go back to Copa Italia. <laughs> okay, stats. Nicola Mosti is on... The top four most amount of goals, Nicola Mosti, with two. Two goals for Nicola Mosti. Two. For yellow cards, something that is good for Modena, as I don't see anyone there, and definitely not anyone for red cards. But, um, Hellas Verona got crushed by Barry, maybe because. Um, what's his name again? Davide Faroni got a, a red card. That's not good. And I'm, I'm going to look at the players action. And if I see a Modena player, I'm a freaking shriek. Okay, there's no Modena player. But, you know, if Modena get a favorable draw in the round of 16... If they beat Cremonese, of course, they have to do that. Then if they got a favorable draw in the semifinals and a favorable draw in the final and they win the thing, that would be crazy. They'd also be in Europe, which is kind of weird to think about. You know how much times the domestic cup has actually helped a team get into the Europa League? Because I don't. All I know is that Nantes from France won the cup and now they're in Europe despite getting, like, ninth in the French League? Hold up. Lee Gun. Oh, yeah, Lee Gun started. Oh, well. Nantes actually drew with Angers. PSG won 5 0. Hey, 21 2022. Where did Nantes finish? Yeah, they finished 9th. I was right. They finished 9th. Well, I mean, I can't really say much about much more about Modena. I couldn't really do anything else after the 4th minute. Or even the first. Well, not me, even the first, but the fourth. And it's almost about to be 15 minutes. So, peace, guys. Thank you for watching. Modena, I hate you.